Hello you gorgeous, beautiful human beings, Josh V. Cashew here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a before and after a comparison of this and now that, you know, this that, that's what this video is uh, with the Logitech Brio 4K webcam, you know, its original version compared to the rework kit, the one that we have right now, the one that you're actually seeing. This is actually the final product. This is what it looks like and that is this video and also if you guys want to see the full rework kit video the rework you know me actually reworking the, the enclosure the logitech brio you can you know you can watch it there there or in the description it, it's going to be somewhere so yeah check that out it's going to be the full process it's actually it's pretty lengthy and detailed but you know that that's what it is that's that's what it took so yeah make sure to check out that video and then but for this video i want you to be the judge okay you're gonna be the judge i want you to trust your eyes and see if you can actually spot the difference all right i'm gonna leave all the opinions to you but i'm gonna still voice out mine so you know there could be a bias based on what i say but you know hopefully my taste is up to par so yeah with that i'm gonna show you the my settings really quick and then we're gonna move on to the comparison video so that you know there's like actually a a baseline a standard so that the, this comparison actually makes sense. All right. All right, so for the Logitech settings that I'm gonna be using, it's pretty much, we're gonna use the Logic Capture app or whatever this is called. So yeah, frame rates, the priority, this is a standard for, I'm gonna be switching between 65, 78, and 90 every now and then, but I'm not gonna, we're gonna see if we can actually spot that depending on how I edit this. This is how I, this is the digital zoom that I'll be talking about that goes all the way. Oh, it's not 100, it's actually 500. Okay, so yeah, that's the digital zoom that I'll be talking about later on. Auto focus is off. Auto white balance is set to 4, 7, 20, 702. That's the white balance. It should be the same for from before and after. Image setting is this. Uh, you know, when I touch it, it actually moves, so. Yeah, 93, The this is default, exposure is up in the 150s, and then I dropped saturation down to 100 while the sharpness is like that. Uh, since, you know, uh, this is the anti-flicker, so I chose 60 hertz. Chroma key and advanced settings are off, so that is the settings for this. So on the left side, you can see that this is the, the rework kit. I mean, no, the original Brio. On the right side is the rework. So that's with the CS lens. I'm using a 1.8 to 2.5, 1.8 to 12 millimeter CS lens. And please correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't memorized the lens number yet. So here is a zoom. This is a digital zoom on both. So as you can see that they're both zoomed in, but you can see that the darks here are more darker on the reworked all right so this is me actually you know zooming in so since it's a manual focus now because you know it's a cs lens it's really cool so you can really adjust the zoom as you please and then yeah it takes some yeah, it takes some um, adjusting but when you get it right you get it right and then it just focuses so you can really tell the difference there's a better zoom with the rework version with the crew castle version because of the CS lens, because it can go all the way in. And there's not that much, I don't know what's the term, artifacting? What's a, what's a good technical term? All right, like a pixelation? Uh, let's see. Yeah, but it, it looks good, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is the full 90 degrees, you know, with my arms right out, just to see the, the angle of which the lens can capture. So, you know, the original Brio can capture 90 degrees. When you put in the lens, it becomes actually 110 or 100-ish degrees. So yeah, there's a better, wider field of view. So this is this is that, yeah, 75 degrees. This is about 75 degrees right now on the Logi app. So you can tell the comparison. That's like a full frame. Yeah. So there, that's pretty much really cool. So yeah, I want you to be the judge for yourself to see which one actually looks better. So here is a cat. Uh, here's the Mimi. Yeah, pretty cool. You can really t see the fur and the fine details on both. Honestly, you know, at first glance, you can't really notice a difference depending on the settings. But all I know is I can say, all I can say is that the blacks on the reworked version is blacker. Uh, that must have something to do with the the contrast. You know, because you, with the with the lens that I have, you can actually adjust the ISO. I think that's the term. 
<laughs> Salius, please correct me if I'm wrong. All I know is it's contrast because, you know, when you twist it, it becomes darker. And then when you don't twist it, it becomes light. When you twist it the other way, it becomes lighter. So here's a close-up uh, of the cat. And then there, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you did see, you know, within those two minutes, you found something. You noticed the details. You noticed the difference between the before and the after. Because if you haven't, then that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you know, what I've done, what this rework kit has accomplished is really, really cool. I'm <laughs> like being able to manual adjust. Because, you know, aside from the fact, aside quality-wise, because we know that the sensor is going to be the same, right? The sensor does not change. What changes is the eyes, the lens, the glass. That's what changes, okay? And then the lens, the stock lens is... Is you know it's it's the it's the stock lens it's the original lens it's the one that you saw that's what we saw and then this is the real lens but the difference is you can do stuff like this you know you can zoom in really deep and then yeah you can do bokeh but if you're really close then you can just adjust it. then yo all right I can go like really close and then I can adjust and then you can see my eyeballs um, not that you want to see my eyeballs but all right let's see if we can actually nail that so there all right yo. This is my right eye. How's it going? So yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't pull that off with the stock version. I'm like, if I do say so, yeah, this is pretty neat. I'm like, and it looks cool. And I'm like, good job, Kurokesu, for designing this. And I'm like, you won't see it because <laughs> you're seeing me. But when I look at the camera, I'm like, oh, that looks, that looks really professional. It does motivate you to a certain extent. I'm like, you can even check out my new hairstyle in really cool quality and this is 4k so yeah the, the 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 it's endless the something is endless the i don't know it's at the tip of my tongue i put gut the something with you can do with this is endless all right i'm lost in thought here but basically it's pretty cool all right just if you saw the rework video and you saw the final product it is pretty pretty cool you know that's just me all right i can be biased but yeah, anyway, I'd like to thank you, thank Salius of Kurokesu uh, for actually, you know, handling the support and shipping and everything. So far, even though it did take a while, but I'll blame the current situation that has been happening in 2020. Yeah, I'll, I'll blame that because, <laughs> yeah, that, that's not good. So again, thank you. And if you guys want to see more, videos you want to see the unboxing video you want to see the work video there's a playlist here you can check that out or you can actually just watch this video which is the actual rework video and you can check that out so you beautiful human beings you thank you so much stay awesome and see ya